Welcome back to another video. My name is Visha, and if you are an existing subby, thank you guys for coming back. And if you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And today's video is my very first collaboration with At Home with Troy. She's going to introduce her video for you guys, and here she goes. Hi guys, my name is Troy. And I am an army wife, an army veteran, and a mother of three. On my channel, I do cook with me's. I do a ton of DIYs and quite a few chit chats about army life. If that is something that you're interested in, I would sure love to have you. Now that you see what Troy Channel is about, when you are done, please go over and hit the subscribe button on her channel as well. We do similar content and she is a very, 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 very sweet person. And I just wanna thank her so much for giving me this opportunity to do a collaboration with you guys. Let's go ahead and get into the video. First, we're gonna start off with the tree. <laughs> we're gonna start off with the tree. I know you guys, if you're watching this, then you've probably seen my Christmas tree decor already. This is the tree. And in that video, I also stated that half of our bulbs, like the whole second row of our bulbs was out. That's okay, I will change them. I got this tree from the PX in Germany. It is a 7.5 foot tree. I got the skirt from the PX in Germany and half of the ornaments. The gold ones came from Walmart before we went overseas. The flakes came from Walmart before we went overseas, but um, the red ones did come from overseas as well. The angel came from Hobby Lobby. Look at her, she's so cute. That was a gift to me. My ornament, this came from a Germany Christmas store. I will, let me see, it's Kathy something. I will have to definitely get the name um, for you guys, because they have the most gorgeous ornaments. And Neve got to pick out that one that she wanted, and I got to pick out the guitar. We both wanted a symbolization of Germany on the Christmas tree. Look at this, I DIY'd it. My stockings, I can't remember where I got them from. We had them for a quite a while. And this is nothing but wrapping paper taped to the wall, going all the way down to the end and I cut it at the bottom. I think it's a cute backdrop. Then next, we have a sign, a DIY sign that I made with Buffalo Check. Gorgeous, joy, season's greeting. The season's greeting came from the Dollar Tree. Buffalo Check at the bottom. The frame right here came from Dollar Tree as well. And I actually cut out the Christmas tree and I painted it and then I glued it on here but I painted the star with the stencil I traced it and painted it with the stencil so here I go this area right here like I just love it I really honestly like I just love it this right here is like the best I cannot wait for an event to take pictures I can move the tree and she can take pictures right here with the backdrop the backdrop also matches the front door entryway. I like that as well. That is so flipping cute. And with the, let's get closer. Oh, get. 
and this is actually a Dollar Tree gift bag from Dollar Tree. This is so flipping cute. I made the bow that's in that guys, that is a milk jar inside, but it's so cute and I love it. So let's exit back out of it. It is so cute. I just like that little area right there. It's, it's cute. It's simple, but cute. So next we have, I always keep a picture of Nevaeh. So the last one was her spring picture that she took. And this one right here is a picture that she took. I could say she was like three years old. And it's how cute how her dress is also matching the theme that we're doing now. <laughs> so I think that is so cute. I actually made this with a mason jar. These balls came from a store in Germany called Kick. So I just color coordinate them. But you know, when kids start touching stuff, they always start messing it up. This came, the pine cones was from my fall decor. The tray comes from Dollar Tree. I just think that is so cute. So I put this together. And then this right here, this was a gift from a Christmas party that we went to uh, for my husband's company a couple of years back. So this, I just used this as a tray to go for this DIY lantern that was gifted to me by one of my students and I love it so much. This was gifted last year. And then this burlap ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. I just hot glued it on there to make it look more Christmassy. And this is the coffee table. It looks so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Then next we have the TV stand. <laughs> so guys, this is a runner for the table. And I was like... We could just put it on the TV stand. It'd be really cute. It'd give like a little, you know, a little backdrop for here. These trees, again, they came from overseas. The reindeers came from overseas. All of these came from this store called Kick. This also came from a store called Kick for Heist Fest, German Christmas, I will hope. <laughs> Another deer. I love it. Look at him. He's just sitting there. It's so cute, right? He is the cutest. <laughs> He's just sitting there. This Xmas sign. I wanted to paint it red, but then again, I was like, no, because next year by looking at, you know, my little snowman and this matte gray, and also this little fellow right here, I am thinking about doing a winter wonderland next year so i like this this is also very cute and let me stand back so you guys can see this is my tv stand please do not mind my husband's laptop bag down there next i wanted to save this for last because this area gave me the hardest trouble the hardest trouble <laughs> this area did give me so much trouble though like my sister was on facetime with me and i had a one and then she was like it needs to be fuller so both of these garlands come from the dollar tree the snowman comes from the dollar tree it is a gift box and i was like that is so cute um, I did not want to make a frame for it, so I just left it like it is because I think it is really, really cute. And then this idea, guys, I really like this idea. Uh, the top, the ornament uh, sign, which came from the Dollar Tree that says, let it snow. And they have on, there we go, they have on Buffalo Check, okay? So a glossy ornament and then a sign and then we have a then we have a glittery ornament 
and a, um, a Merry Christmas. This also came from Germany and in Germany their trucks were this color. As you can see, this was last year. Um, and I was like, I just really love this. Like, I really love this. It's really cute. I like that it's different. It's kind of rustic. And then a matte ornament and then a home for the holiday sign which I really, really love with the red truck. So, you guys can see it right here. This is so cute. This is so cute. I'm going to now show you, excuse me, Nivea, my pillow that I made, I DIY'd it. It's a no sew pillow with fabric from Walmart. I had to use, um, not, I think it was like a yard that I use for this one right here, which is really pretty. And this one is like my favorite right here. I really love the truck. <laughs> and the truck, I actually used a yard for the whole truck. So if you step back, if you step back, this is my living room. Simple and nice. And it is gorgeous. I really love it. If you're over here from this view, I really love it. So next, we're going to go to, guys, my dining room. So beautiful. If you watch that Hobby Lobby um, haul, when I went to Hobby Lobby, you would see, I been bought this. I been bought this, like, in the beginning of October. <laughs> this is so cute. It doesn't fit my whole table, which mm, it's okay, but it's still really cute. Please do not judge my wrapping of the boxes because I cannot wrap boxes. It is okay. So right here, we have the box and on it, we just have a snow globe. We had that from last year. And in the middle, I bought all the ornaments from this for this tray right here from the um, Dollar Tree. This tray actually comes from overseas too. They use a lot of wooden trays. And my Yankee Candle, it is called, guys, I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm not even gonna pick it up because I don't wanna get burned, but yeah. But it's, it has a Christmas tree scent, but it's not Christmas. It's not a, it doesn't say Christmas tree. It smells like pine cone, okay? So then next we have this right here, so pretty. Turn off the light, I wanna see how it looks. This is so pretty. Look at this, oh, look at this. Look at this. She's gonna turn off every light. Yeah, turn off that one. Okay, so this is how this would look down here. It is so pretty. Also from the store called Kick. So pretty. This is the dining room. It's, it's really pretty. It's simple. It's pretty. A lot of DIYs was made here. A lot of put togethers was made here. You could do your own decorations at home. And the boxes, the box idea came from at home with Troy. These were her ideas to do wrap the boxes. So, and we just put them out wherever we want to. So, Good thinking, sis, good thinking. So right here is my mirrors. And then right, my frame, it is so cute. It is another DIY that I put together. Um, it is a box. <laughs> it is another box. Both of those boxes came together. It's a two in one. It's really, really pretty. I really, really like it. And the kitchen here, we have dashing through the snow. It's really nice. Another DIY. I had these from last year from a store called Etika. It is for the window, but I decided to put it in a picture frame. And I really think that is very, is very beautiful. My snowman right here that says welcome. I really love it. Last but not least is our, it's, this is, this area is not done. And the reason why it's not done yet, but I am still showing you guys, because this is going to be our coffee 
and our cocoa our hot chocolate station this right here is going to be for cookies and i got this from dollar tree but these right here um i forgot where i got them from i got that from overseas from that same store called kick it is so pretty guys get a plate stand you don't know what else to do um plates do help decorate the house and you guys remember this diy that i did I will leave the link in the description below the DIY that I did for the my first buffalo check that I did. So here I go this one. It is so beautiful. I just decided to leave this tree right here plain. I did not want to add nothing else to it. Just leave it alone. Leave it like it is. I was going to put the ornaments on it and then I just said no plain is better it looks like a little faux plant sitting over here which it is faux it is a faux, faux christmas tree and yeah now guys thank you so much for watching and this is how my kitchen area looks i really honestly like it you can turn to the side don't mind my sponge i honestly like it like i just love it Everything flows with each other. The colors are so nice and beautiful. Just beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, have a good night.